Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its parking sensors. You have your navigation system along with your heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. As you can see you have your chrome accents on the front of the grille and you'll find your plug-in block heater there as well. Parking sensors over on the side you have the 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels, running boards. Up top you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. You have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines. You see there on the handle, push on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Blizzard Pearl. Now taking a closer look at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black leather into your seat surfaces. With your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side you're going to see your mirror controls, parking sensors on and off, window wiper de-icer on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet, window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows along with your seat memory controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back, mode select, volume control, Bluetooth, voice recognition display and cruise control. Now it does have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here which include, if you just hit the display button here, your fuel economy as well as your cruising range, and you also have a digital speedometer with your digital compass and exterior temperature gauge, and taking a closer look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, You'll see a couple of different features which include that digital clock, hazard lights, and then if you go inside your apps menu, you have your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. It does have the premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio on here. Dual zone climate control settings along with your USB and auxiliary input located down below with heated seats and cooled seat controls for your driver and passenger. Your power outlet, 4x4 select, mounted to an automatic transmission with your open and close for your power rear window. And then if you take a look at the top here, you're gonna see your auto dimming rear view mirror and a couple of the controls you'll find include the integrated garage door opener controls, traction control on off, A-track downhill assist control, and then you have your open and close as well as the tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof. Now taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of your tailgate, you're going to see your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your foreigner emblem. Now closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have a 50-50 split for your third row, so in the event that you do need the additional space, it's available to you, but if you need the additional passengers, that's also available for you as well. If you need more cargo room, you can fold down the second row for yourself. The other nice thing is you do have the carb cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just by going from place to place. Over on the right-hand side, you have that rear cargo power outlet, so if you're ever out of the cabin or the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools, you can do so, or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now if you want, you can actually use the controls that are located just on the right hand side here to actually roll down the rear window for yourself. It uses the smart key system with it, so you want to make sure you have your key fob on you at all times in order to use this feature. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.